always so hard to find i'm kind of disappointed <laughs> it is so good that by the time we got home we hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of pokemon sleep and if you are new here hi welcome so happy to have you here i make pokemon sleep related videos and let's get straight into it now there is a lot of background noise going on outside so hopefully that has settled down by now but we are Monday. It is the start of EV week, which is very exciting. I know where I'm going to go to. And I hope you all had a fun weekend. I, for one, had an amazing weekend. I had a lot of fun spending time with friends and family. And my voice is a bit raspy this morning. But let's see who shows up. Oh. So we got a Wigglytuff that showed up, a Slowbro. That might be the first Wigglytuff I've seen show up to my camp. And then we have an Atop belly sleep meowth and I've caught two meowth in the past and when I plugged it into the rain on calculator turns out they're very good which is why I do not catch any meowths well in the Raichu tail waving Raichu That's the first one we've encountered as well. Now, you guys know how there's some Pokemon that have like four um, sleep patterns on their chart? Is it just me or is the third one always so hard to find? I feel like the first one and second one are like good. The fourth one, good as well. But then the three star one. The three star one is quite difficult to find. And let's see, is there any Pokemon that I want to catch? There is not. So I don't really know who to give my bonus biscuit to, but... I guess I'll just give it to the Raichu since it's hungry. And we are going to save the rest of our cookies for Eevee week. So I'm hoping that you guys are able to find what you're looking for. I hope you all have a chance of catching a shiny Eevee as well. If it's not your first shiny Eevee, then maybe your second. Now I think with that candy I got from Wigglytuff, the Jigglypuff candy, and then the candies in my bag that I can convert into Pokemon candy, I should be able to evolve my Jigglypuff to a Wigglytuff. But it's happening now, it's Eevee week, let's see. So nice that they kind of changed the UI of the event notice, which gives it a cute, charming touch. But it's basically all the information that we have already received before, so I won't go over it too much, but very on theme, the colors and everything. Now, yesterday was Sunday. I have yet again missed breakfast, so I felt like it was a lost opportunity for a big meal and a critical meal. But I was able to get a critical meal at dinner time. And I made a 47k chocolate sweet cake, sweet scent chocolate cake. Oh, sorry, I double tapped on that. Now let's choose our next campsite. And I already know what my next campsite is going to be. I'm going to stay at Greengrass Isle. Because I want to see Sylveon. And hopefully fill up her sleep deck style. 
And I finished at Master 7. The other, my highest was Master 9 here. So hopefully this week I'll do better. And I got three handy candy, small handy candies. My overall grade was B. And I'm going here. Back to Greengrass Isle. And let's see what my Snorlax wants to eat. Desserts again, which is great. I'm not mad at that. I'm very happy, actually. So I got... Okay. So... We are going to get main skill trigger up for all of our helper Pokemon and it is going to be 1.5 times more likely to be triggered, which is great. So I brought in my Togepi because I need eggs. And only Togepi has triggered their skill usually my squirtle and or my wartortle and my vaporeon are really good at triggering their skills in the morning so i'm kind of disappointed <laughs> that was very underwhelming and do i have enough ingredients for a recipe let's see oh actually i can make my lovely kiss smoothie so I have decided I am not going to try to go for a Neroli restorative tea run because I just do not gather enough apples and then on top of that um, when I have my three Pokemon dedicated to making this and then the other two that sometimes don't trigger their skill or I don't gather enough ingredients to make the other ones it's just not a viable option for me as I mentioned in my other video so with that being said, I'm gonna make this smoothie. And let's add in a mushroom just because it's the probably highest, most points out of the ingredients I currently have in my bag. So with a 35% bonus, I get a 9.5K dish strength on my lovely kiss smoothie, which is very good. And let's see, that jumped us up to, I think, basic three. Yeah, basic three. And let's see what the special missions are for this week. So here are the ED missions. So get to Master 1, Ultra 1, 15 biscuits, use 100 candies. I guess that's a good time to evolve my Jigglypuff. Use 7 incenses. Stick to your bedtime 3 times and then cook 12. Damn, I don't even think I have... Well, I do have 7 incense if you count like the Pokemon incense. But I'm afraid to use those because I don't know if they're going to take up a slot on a potential Eevee showing up, right? So we will see. And I don't think any of my Pokemon, no, none of my Pokemon have Snorlax's favorite berries, but we are prioritizing on ingredients. So as you can see happening right now, and thank you so much to my viewer who pointed out that the reason why it's a four time multiplier on a Monday is to compensate for the fact that the earlier days of the week you will have a lower drowsy power and while I was reading and recording this it just did not click to me that that would be the case so thank you so much for that clarification it makes so much more sense now I really appreciate you and the lighting is getting darker because the Sun is moving as we speak but what can we do right 
What can we do besides look at the research community together and see what everyone caught? Because we are nosy and we like to see these things. So, over the weekend, so my friend told me about a new show, actually, I'll start with that. My friend told me about a new show that came out on Netflix. It's called Blue Eye Samurai. And my boyfriend and I had not heard of it, but she told me that the show was so good that some of her friends binged watched it in one day. So I told my boyfriend about it afterwards. And we decided to watch it on Saturday. We watched like one and a half episodes on Saturday before it got too late and then we fell asleep. Or it was just too late, so we were tired. It was like 2.30 in the morning and we had a um, tea time date at 1.30 Sunday. So we went to sleep. And then Sunday, we had our high tea session, which was super fun. And... After that, we hung out with my boyfriend's mom for a little, had some Vietnamese food, and we watched a bit more Blue-Eyed Samurai there. So, it is so good that by the time we got home, we watched more Blue-Eyed Samurai. Blue-Eyed Samurai. And we ended up finishing the entire thing in like two days. Would have been one day, honestly. I feel like it's easily bingeable in one day, but yeah. Oh, this reminds me of the sable eye that I couldn't catch when I was at Topalo, which is so sad. But you guys, blue eyed samurai. I keep seeing eyed. It's not eyed because on the title it's blue eye samurai. But it is so good. A story about revenge, personal journey. Um, escaping and freedom and friendship and honor and loyalty and greatness and power and a lot of like breaking the mold like the stereotype of what is expected for certain people in society when it comes to social class and gender so this is dated in the I believe Edo period of Japan in Kyoto and you follow a story of a young girl who goes through hardships and is on a lonely path of revenge until she is encountered by acquaintances that she does not consider friends but it's also a story of hardship heartbreak and losing your way also but i highly recommend it i love the I love the story in the sense that you can really see how difficult it was not only for women but for men to oblige to certain social expectations of them at that time and how a lot of them had no choice or power when it came to their lives and I just love the way the story unraveled each character was very likable as well and I wish there was a second season but my boyfriend did some research and there has been no talks about or confirmation about any second season yet so that is that but I hope that there is enough buzz and hoopla about it that they do decide to make a second season so if you guys have not checked out Blue Eye Samurai. I highly recommend it. It is a phenomenal story. It's not an anime. It's more like a cartoon. And it's in English. But it's just... It's so good. For a moment, I thought that was a shiny tokabi just because the color seemed a little off. But that's probably like the shading, the overcast of the area. And you know what? I I thought the oh it's a tail sucking leafeon. How cute. So I thought the Halloween Pokemon were going to be available on Greengrass Isle again, right? But I encountered none the the week that just passed, so what's up with that? 
Or is it like a... Did they just all move to Topalo? So I've noticed that a lot of people are having dittos in their team. Oh my god, how funny is Straight in Sleep? Why are Krogong's sleep styles so like derpy, you know? He's like the comic comedic relief. And the show also had a lot of comedic relief. Which is great. Neck twisting sleep. Oops, I pressed that again. And I did that again, <laughs> sorry guys. That must be annoying. Arm swinging sleep. And then last but not least, droopy eared sleep. Perhaps the cutest type of sleep. But yeah, it doesn't seem like we encountered any shinies. I definitely think they nerfed the shiny number in their code or something. And that is pretty much all of our dailies. I hope you guys completed your dailies as well. And if you did something fun during the weekend, I would love to hear it. I have learned to enjoy filling up my weekends with things. When I was younger, I worked all my weekends and I didn't have much of a social life. I liked to be home and watch anime and play games, but that was also because I was not allowed out. So I am the oldest daughter, the first daughter, and my mom was just so scared of me going out into the world and I totally get it now. Now that I'm older, I'm like 10 years, 10 years plus apart from my little sister. And now that I'm older and I've experienced the world and how crazy some people could be, I get so worried when I hear that my little sister is out, but fortunately she always has like a chaperone because when she goes out with her group of friends, the parents rotate on chaperoning for all these girls. But it has really opened my eyes to how scary society could be for younger women and also younger men because you know there's a lot of horrible things out there happening in the world but yeah what was i saying that kind of turned dark pretty quickly but i don't mean to laugh on a dark situation but yeah if you guys have younger siblings, you probably can relate. Hold them tightly, hold them near and dear, and just remind them that you love them and appreciate them. And, you know, complimenting them never hurts. I know some parents are against those things, like complimenting your children because you think they're going to be spoiled. But at the same time, you got to realize, like if you yourself <clears throat> have noticed that you've gone through life, <clears throat> without getting recognition or praise or just being told like affirming words like you're smart you could do this i always trust your deci decision then you're gonna grow up into an adult that's like anxious not trusting your de decision second guessing yourself and everything so i try to make it a habit to always say positive words to my siblings because Sometimes you're in a spot where you don't believe it and then if you hear it enough from someone else, you will start believing it. So, yeah. Now, thank you guys so much for joining in on yet another video. Thank you so much for spending your Mondays with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys have watched or started watching Blue Eye Samurai. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys love it as much as I do? And if not, I highly recommend you at least check out three episodes, you know, do the three episode rule where if after the third episode you don't enjoy it, then feel free to drop it. I won't take it personal. But if you guys are looking for something to watch that is in English and doesn't require a dub because it's voice acted in English, then I highly recommend it, you guys. I would love to talk to you guys about what's happening in the show and just geek out together but with that being said thank you so much for joining me in yet again an yet again <laughs> another video i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys in
tomorrow's video. Take care, good luck, have fun, and bye.